Hello everybody, my name is Conrad Mahalik. I will be performing Deor, uh, which is a poem found in the Book of Exeter, uh, composed sometime in the 10th century. Uh, it's also known as the Lamentation of Deor, and it is uh, kind of a meditation and a lamentation on the suffering of mankind as well as the suffering of the Scop, uh, who is the narrator of this tale. It really feels... Uh, like a religious work in a way um, but secularly told almost as it only alludes to God or his will once throughout the entire work and is mostly focused on how humanity actually causes the suffering that plagues humanity rather than it just being God's will uh, anyway that's the context for it, and I hope you enjoy the performance. And now, Mahalik Audio proudly presents Deor from the Book of Exeter, performed for you by Conrad Mahalik. Welland himself, by means of worms, experienced agony. The strong-minded noble endured troubles. He had for his companions sorrow and longing. Winter bitter rack. He often found misery after Nid had put fetters on him. Supple sinew bonds on the better man. That was overcome. So may this be. Beadahild was not as sad in mind for the death of her brothers as for her own trouble. She had clearly realized that she was pregnant. She could never think resolutely of how that would have to turn out. That was overcome. So may this be. We heard that the moans of Matilda, of the Lady of Geet, were numberless, so that sorrowful love entirely deprived of sleep. That was overcome. So may this be. Theodric ruled for thirty winters the city of the Marings. That was known to many. That was overcome. So may this be. We heard Ermanaric's wolfish thoughts. He ruled widely the people of the kingdom of the Goths. That was a grim king. Many a warrior sat, bound up by cares, woes in mind, wished constantly that the kingdom were overcome. That was overcome. So may this be. He sits sorrowful and anxious, bereft of joy, darkening in his mind. He thinks to himself that is endless the part of troubles. Then he can consider that throughout this world the wise lord always goes. To many men he shows honor, share glory, to some a share of troubles. I, for myself, want to say this, that for a while I was the scop of the headenings, dear to my lord. My name was Dior. I had for many winters a good position, a loyal lord, until Heorenda now, a man skillful in songs, has taken the estate that the protector of warriors before gave to me. That was overcome. So may this be.